Hello everyone, Jade here and today I'll show you on how you're supposed to improve your aiming and reflexes in PUBG PC Lite. At the end of the day, aiming and reflexes is all about muscle memory. So the more you practice, the better you're gonna get at it. So today I'll show you on how I personally practice every day to get my muscles used to aiming precisely wherever I want as fast as I want. So let's begin. Now many of you would say that the best method to get better at aiming and reflexes is to play CSGO. And it's right, but there's a very huge condition related for which this will work. And that condition is, the sensitivity of CSGO should exactly be matched with the sensitivity of PUBG PC Lite. If you know how to do that, it's great. But keep in mind, even the slightest of difference will affect your gameplay in the wrong way. So if you don't know how to do that, the best place to practice is the PUBG Lite's in-game training room. Now the first thing that you need is to figure out your sensitivity. So if you wanna know on how you're supposed to do that, check out this video that I've already created from the link in the description box. In fact, I've also created a lot more videos which will help you in becoming a better PUBG PC or PC Lite player. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to get a lot more content like this. Now finally, let me show you on what I do to practice and improve my aiming. First, take a level 3 bag. Then any AR or SMG that you're comfortable with. Then take as much ammo as possible. Put an extended mag to it. Take a red dot or a holographic scope. And switch the firing mode to single. Now you're ready, so let the training begin. This training exercise is divided into three stages, out of which the third one is gonna improve your reflexes a lot. But if you are a beginner, I'll recommend you to go through each stage consecutively. The first stage is getting comfortable with your sensitivity. Now to those people who feel that you're comfortable with your sensitivity can skip the first two stages and move on to the third one, which will act to be the ultimate exercise for your muscle memory. The rest of you, head to these moving targets on the right side of the training room and stand at a position from which you can see all the targets moving. Now start shooting at them one by one. The most important thing in this stage is to be 100% accurate. So don't try to rush, just make sure that you hit the target in one go. Now don't spend a lot of time on this stage, 10 minutes of practice should be enough. When you start feeling comfortable, move on to the next stage. So in the second stage, what you need to do is, move on to this target practice on the left side of the training room. Here you'll see targets moving in some wall-like structures that'll act as covers for all the moving targets. Now stand as close as you can. I'll recommend you to stand just behind the table closest to the targets. The reason for standing this close is that it will increase your range in which you'll reach and hence improve your reflexes if an enemy approaches you from an unexpected location. Now do exactly what you did in the first stage. Try hitting all the targets in one go. Don't rush and shoot inaccurate bullets. Practice this until you feel comfortable and are capable of shooting all the targets in one go. Now the final and the most important stage. This is something that I always do before starting my first match of the day and I've noticed that it has helped me improve a lot. So for this stage, do what you've been doing till now. The only difference is rather than aiming by adjusting, use your muscle memory to shoot. Don't aim. Just look at the targets, try pointing at them as fast as you possibly can and shoot. Don't adjust your aim, don't wait for the targets to move out of cover. The moment you spot a target, just shoot at it. It doesn't matter whether all of your shots are hitting or not. Just keep on shooting. It'll be harder for you at first, but with time, your accuracy will get a lot better and you'll be able to hit most of the targets with the help of your reflex. And this training will translate into the game and you'll be able to react a lot more faster and accurate than ever before. So I recommend you to spend 30 minutes a day on these training exercises and distribute time on each one based on how comfortable you are feeling on the third stage. So this was it for today. I hope you liked this video. I'll soon create videos about best graphics settings, keyboard bindings and a lot more. So don't forget to subscribe. And as always, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Till then, Jade out.